What is up, my people? So, man, we uh got a little mod we're doing today. Look how fast this traffic is moving, man. Look at how fast I'm going. I'm almost going 100. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyways, man, we got a little mod we're doing today. Got the AFR gauge. And um, this is something, obviously, that you could typically install on your own. Um, however, I can't. Man, I don't know if y'all just heard that backfire. That was crazy. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I can't install mine myself because whenever I got my headers installed, they deleted my downstream O2 sensors. So, like, and when I say deleted, I mean I don't even have a bung for them to screw into. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they, it's literally long tube headers. I got my upstream O2 sensors in them, and then just straight pipe until um, you know the, the SLP uh, little resonators way at the back of that exhaust. Um, so yeah, so I gotta go to, to the muffler shop see if they can uh, weld me on a new bung right quick. Uh, and then we'll go home and, and install that joint. But uh, as of right now, shh, I can't do nothing with it, man. Uh, literally, there's nowhere to, to, to screw it in right now. Um, so depending on which lift they put the car on, if they even available to do it. Because like, I didn't call up here first. You know, sometimes these dudes be busy. But I didn't call up here first or none of that, man. I'm just going to pull up. You know. Uh, we're going to see if, uh, if they can make it do what it do. Um yeah uh hopefully they have uh some some availability and they can take care of it that way we can get that thing on here now um but just in case you aren't familiar you know once you start tuning your car and you know dealing with the air fuel ratios and everything um afr gauge becomes really important to like truly dial in the tuning and and you know how your car receives fuel and whatnot um just because that thing gathers data that you don't really get just from, uh, you know, running data logs on HP tuner. So um, it'll allow my tuner to, to really dial in the tune and, uh, you know, get the girl in, in the absolute best running condition possible. Now, don't get me wrong. It's running very well. Um, you know, I can drive it just perfectly the way it is and not have an issue. But, you know. Uh, and in and, and, uh, the words of my brother, you know, the, uh, my brother swole, don't be average, you know, and uh, we striving for that good old greatness over here. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, you know, we just want to make sure all our uh, T's across, I's dotted. I think I said that backwards, but y'all know what I mean. Um, but uh, let me get over here to the uh, muffler shop, man, and then... Uh, you know, depending on which lift they put the car on, I'll try and show y'all what um, what we working with underneath, so you know what I'm talking about. You know. Oh, you good, brother? Yeah, so, see? Only got the upstream, and they deleted the downstream, so he's about to take care of it. It was actually pretty quick, he just pulled up. And the uh, car that was on the lift was coming down, so. Man, look how good that stance looks on there. Check this out. Since I'm here, I figured I'd look at some stuff. Look at this. We gotta get that off of there. Yeah, made in Germany. Yeah, we gotta get that off. All right, guys, and just like that, we are done, man. So whenever I get home, I'll uh, show y'all exactly what he did. Get put the seatbelt on so this thing ain't beeping this whole time. Uh, I'll show y'all exactly what he did. Uh, it was really quick, man. We're, like, we talking. I wasn't even at, at that place for 25 minutes just now, man. Uh, so that was good. Another thing, bro, I have my pedal commander off right now. So this is the stock throttle 
I have no idea how anybody can drive this car like this, man. This thing, you gotta push this thing down forever to get it going. Look at that. That's like probably 30% of the way. That is crazy. Man, look, if you don't have a pedal commander, man, go get your pedal commander, bruh. You know, you can use code me and three. <laughs> I'm putting the code up on the screen, man. You need that, bro. I promise you. This is, it's going to be such a different driving experience for you. It's going to feel like a, a completely different car, man. Go get you one of those. You need it. If you don't have that, you need that, bro. I'm going to keep it 100. You know. Uh, but yeah, man, let me uh, let me go ahead and get home. And then uh, we'll uh, get to cracking on this AFR uh, gauge install. You know. All right, guys, so we're back, man. Uh, so this is fast forward about <laughs> a week. <laughs> uh, still haven't put the, uh, the gauge in the car, so we're going to take care of that today. As you can see, my garage is kind of free, freeing up space in here, man. Uh, so, uh, yeah, man. Um, Pretty sure when I cut the camera off, we had just got the um, the bung welded on so we can get the the O2 sensor for the AFR gauge uh, installed. And then all we have left is to connect the wire that goes to the O2 sensor and then run that through the car. And then we have to run that to power as well. Um, actually, we got a little bit to do, so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing jacked up, and then uh, I'll get to it, man. It's crazy. I, I can never, because normally so much stuff in my garage, I can never come way over here to get a full shot of the car. Got my daughter's water slide right here. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to have to put it in the attic. But, yeah, let me get to it. Everybody want a lower car until you got one so low that not even a low profile jack can get underneath it so i have to use this damn thing first to uh get underneath the car actually i'm gonna do it about right here uh to use this thing to get underneath the car just to get it high enough for the low profile jack to get under it you know which is crazy in itself but yeah gotta pay the cost you know all right so this is gonna be Really simple. Uh, I just need to plug this in into the O2 sensor, and then this is the end that'll run into the car. That plugs up into the back of the gauge. So, yeah. I don't know if I lifted my car high enough, to be honest. All right, guys. So, this is the new bung here. Got that running through. And it runs up right there. So I just need to plug in that harness to that. And then again, get it through the firewall so we can uh, hook it to the gauge inside the car. I got the wires and I don't know if you can see in there. I got them just sitting there that way I can reach through there and grab them. Uh, and again, we're gonna be running them. I can get this damn thing off. I'm gonna be running them right through there on the side. So let me see if my hand is slim enough. Shouts out to the skinny dudes, man. You know. Yeah. So I'm still gonna have to go back underneath the car um, so I can make sure that these wires are zip tied where they can't, you know, like touch the exhaust or nothing. Um, Let me get this through. So just got these, uh, got this wire ran up to the top. Got my pillar off here. This is the actual uh, mount for the gauge pod. Um, it's really, to be honest, it's not the right size. I'm gonna have to order another one. Uh, Cause it, the fitment on this one won't be like I want it, but essentially it'll be, y'all get that idea so uh 
think I'm gonna go ahead and drill this guy on. That way this part can be out of the way and um, figure out the next part, which is actually wiring this thing to power. So also comes with this. Now this will plug uh, right over your OBD2 uh, port. And then when you need to actually plug something in, it'll plug in on this side. Um, so got to plug this thing in and this runs to the gauge as well. And then these actually have to run to a power source and a ground source, which not 100% sure what's all this commotion going on under here. I'm gonna have to do some research to see what which wires uh yeah i just I don't, I don't know what all these wires go to so i gotta figure that out and then i'll give you all an update once i figure something out here's a black wire i don't know what it goes to but yeah i'll be back in a second all right little update guys so got a hole drilled in the pillar got the holes here for the actual uh mount and I put them like this, that way I don't have to have wires running, you know, downwards. Um, so it'll literally be behind this thing. And you won't even know that the wires are there. You know. All right, guys, just give you a quick rundown. So, again, there was a black wire. We got that running right there to the ground. And then the red wire has to be hooked to switched power, meaning uh, this wire won't be provided any power until you turn the key on the car right so i had to extend that red wire i just used a purple uh electrical wire to extend it and i got that running to my cigarette lighter which essentially goes here so um yeah had to extend that but gauge is fully functioning and um yeah because at first I, made me, I hooked it to this red wire here, um, but that was that's, that's that wire is constant power, so the gauge would never shut off. So I had to figure something else out how to um, to wire it, and uh, now it's working. So once I put all this back on, I'll turn the key just so y'all can see that it actually does fire up. And uh, yeah, man, we ready to really tweak the uh, tuning after this. So. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, don't, uh, don't mind my vape smoke, man. But uh, yeah, she is working and I am so ready for this, man. You know. Yeah, so that is your wideband AFR gauge installed. Really quick, really simple. Um, Again, the most hectic part is the wiring, but again, your boy do this, man. So, yeah, you know, the wiring ain't too too big of a deal for me. But, uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in getting an AFR gauge, if you have your car tuned or whatnot, um, I'll put the link in the description box. You can do that. Um, my email is on uh, my profile page, the home page of my YouTube Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. If you're new here, man, please consider subscribing. Uh, we're on the road to 3K, man. We're almost at 3K. I think we just recently passed like 2,700, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, it's just, it, you know, not moving at the fastest pace, but it's moving, man. And uh, I really appreciate every one of y'all. So um, with that, man, I am out of here. The next video is going to be me doing uh, full step-by-step -step in HP tuners when we start the data logging and then when we actually... Uh, upload the tune so y'all stay tuned for that and y'all be easy you know